The San Antonio Riverwalk, it is a tourist attraction. International tourists from all over come to San Antonio to see our Riverwalk. Well, there are a few gems down here on the Riverwalk that even some San Antonians may not know about. You're here to tell us a little bit more about them and how you can enjoy them just like the rest of the world does is Marlis Camilleri with the DeShiel House. For starters, this is from the 1800s. The house was built in 1850 by Major Jeremiah DeShiel. He was actually a paymaster in the army and he sent his family money to build the house. So it's um, owned by the San Antonio Conservation Society. Uh -huh. It's registered in the National Registry of Historical Buildings, and it's managed by the Fig Tree Restaurant. And one of the beautiful things about not only just seeing this property, it truly is worth a trip down here just to look at it, but you can use it for special events, things like weddings, bar mitzvahs, parties, or just because you want to have a party, right? Exactly, exactly. We've had engagement parties, birthday parties, in addition to the convention business, right. um, corporate business. We've had uh, anniversaries, brunches, and we do a lot of weddings because we're right across the street from the little church of La Vita. Well, and I've, I've heard the stories of you can get married in La Vita, and then the bridal party can just literally walk across the walkway, and you're here. One-stop shopping. Yeah. Have your wedding ceremony. The bride and groom stay back for photos. Everybody else comes over and has cocktails and hors d'oeuvres on these spaces inside for dinner or vice versa. I've had a client who actually did reception inside and then dinner out. So. Well, and the patio area here is spectacular. Now, this is on the quiet side of the river. Even I've been here before when they've had things going on at the Arneson, and it's lovely. It's, it's a romantic, beautiful setting. And then, of course, I guess maybe the best part, the fig tree does the food, and the food is outstanding. We have, uh, of course, steaks is our mainstay, but seafood, chicken items as well, lots of different past hors d'oeuvres, so there are a lot of options available. And I'm with the fig tree chef, Byron Bogeron, and of course the fig tree known for incredible steaks and seafood, and you all can do so many other things as well. Absolutely. Um, the Dashiel house here is an extension of the fig tree. Uh, we will, we, like you say, we specialize in steaks and seafood. We'll take temperature. We also offer many choices for people. There's a vegetarian option. We can do theme dinners that are, uh, such as a Mexican style or maybe sushi or Indian or Moroccan. I did not know that. We That's can, uh, we can t tailor any uh, menu for, uh, and offer many options for people. And even if you have a big group, I think this is very important when you're planning a special event for whether, you know, it's usually family or very close friends. The food is made to order. This is not Absolutely. one of those big buffets where you go in and no, the food's been sitting um, there. We're preparing that food. We're plating it and sending it right to the table. It's not pre-prepared. Everything's made from scratch. Some of our more popular hors d'oeuvres and, uh, and appetizers that we serve here regularly is a, an appetizer tray of some uh, Gulf sh uh, jumbo shrimp, cheese stuffed jalapenos, uh, crab claws, and uh, little quail legs cra wrapped with bacon and drizzled with a por little port wine reduction. Yum. Little mini pizzas. We have uh, little mini crab cakes topped with a red pepper aioli. There's uh, smoked salmon on buckwheat blinis, goat cheese and uh, herb stuffed mushrooms. We have a crab martini with avocado. Oh. Also, we have our wonderful uh, shrimp cocktail. I've been to special events here. It is incredible. And like I say, the magnificent fig tree is right next door. That's, and that's correct. And the chef does the food. Byron, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.